Hello everyone. In the previous session, we had seen what are complementary angles and uh, how do we correlate with sign and cos, cos and sign, all those things we had seen. So using those, we'll, in this session, we'll try to solve some of the problems. So the first question in this is, Evaluate the value of sine 18 divided by cos 72. So in the previous session, we had seen already sine of 90 degrees minus A is equal to cos A. In this, if A is replaced with 72 degrees, then what will happen? Then sine of 90 minus 72 should be equal to cos 72 or we can say sine of 18 degrees is equal to cos 72 degrees that means this both are same so that means this will become one. or i can straight away say sine of sine 18 sine of 18 degrees divided by cos 72 degrees i am dividing both sides by cos 72 this is one that is first question. Next one. Uh, tan of 26 degrees divided by cot of 64 degrees. So again, we have, we have, let me write this as solution. Tan of 90 degrees minus A. We had seen already, it is nothing but cot A. So if A is replaced with 64, then this will become tan 90 minus 64 is equal to cot 64 or tan of 26 degrees is equal to cot of 64 degrees. Dividing both sides by cot 64, we will be having and 26 degree, degrees divided by cot 64 degrees will be equal to 1. So all these problems are just applications of whatever we learned in our previous session. The next one. Cos 48 minus sin 42. Again, uh, we know cos of, sorry, cos of 90 degrees minus A is equal to sin A. So if we substitute, if A is equal to 42 degrees, then cos of 90 degrees minus 42 degrees should be equal to sin 42 degrees or cos 48 degrees should be equal to sin 42 degrees. Bringing this sin 42 to the left hand side, we have cos 48 degrees minus sin 42 degrees should be equal to zero. So what we had seen in this session is some simple problems wherein we are using that complementary angle formulae to apply that and solve it. Right? So we'll again meet in our next session. Till then, see you all.